course. Gotcha, bitch. I fooled you. This isn't actually Uwop's third game. You need to leave. This is just the project that he is investing into. So he's basically an investor. Now, there's a lot of people who are confused about what's going on because yesterday, Uwop posted a video on a new One Piece game that's coming out tomorrow called Demon Piece. So naturally, since the trailer appeared on Uwop's channel, people thought that it was Uwop's third game. However, that's just not the case. Uwop cleared up all the misconceptions and he did tell us he's focusing on Dimension X and Project Slayers 2. And this is not a game he has any involvement in outside of being an investor or probably just some sideline help but he is not a mainline developer for the game with that being said demon piece is again coming out tomorrow and it is a one piece game obviously and i've heard this game plays and looks a little bit like blocks fruits but just better so instead of just showing you guys the trailer which you've already seen i'm gonna be hopping inside of demon piece playing it a little bit and showing you guys what the gameplay actually feels like so without further ado let's check out demon piece okay we got demon piece skip loading pirates or marine obviously pirates okay daily unlocks reward ready times two exp for 20 minutes oh, okay day two 50k belly gives you Race essence, two times mastery, random rare fruit, mystery chest. Need more stamina. So we open our menu. The menu is pretty small, comes up on the bottom hand side of the screen. G max armament hockey is full is full. Oh, look at that. Observation hockey. Cooldown. We don't know how long the cooldown on that is. When you activate it, you can see one player. You can see all the other NPCs. Bounty board. Must be a marine to hunt pirates. There's a, de there's a, uh, a devil fruit shop as well. You can equip. Okay, so you can buy stuff and you can gift it. For a player. 49 Robux. Bomb. Gift it. 300 Robux. Uncommon is 300 Robux to give. Rare. You got gas, love, barrier, poor, sand. Let's see how much it is to give this. Oh, it's only a thousand Robux. Okay, that's not that's not too bad. So you got light, lightning, tremor, dark, and Buddha. Inventory. Oh, look at all the weapons. Holy book. The holy Bible. Let's let's see what this does. Holy Spirit. Is this this increase your attack? <laughs> holy Spirit is so crazy. Oh snap! Tell me why that's high key decent. Hold up. Alright, cool. You can hold that. I just want to see the damage difference. Okay, so Holy Spirit does increase your attack. Uh, <laughs> Holy <laughs> book. Uh, Holy book, nah, nah, use, use the buff on it real quick. Cause if you're in a party, then it buffs your teammates. But if you're not in the party, then it buffs yourself. All right, one sec. Waiting for that cooldown. Hi, oh, shit. This is a copyright music, is it? No. All right, cool. cool no, it's cool. not custom made music. Oh no. This might be like a better version of Blocks Fruits. Mm, come on now. Uh, high key. I don't, I don't know about no blocks who's killer. I don't, that might be impossible. Alright, hold up. Party member, alright, cool. Lightning relief. The thing is, 
it has a golden sweep, but we're still deciding whether we want to add it to the weapon or not. Well, it I used know, to be well, added, but then we changed it. Because golden sweep was low key. Like, we wanted this weapon to be more like PvP orientated, but it's still good for both ways. So, yeah. Type B. We didn't want to add fair. Okay. Your it's hella weapon. It's hella weapon. This is the rare weapon. Okay, that one okay. buffs. That I'll... one heals you, right? Yeah, so this is. Here, yeah, let me damage you real quick. Oh, this has skins. Okay. But. Alright, I used the heal. So. Hell no. I gotta get it back. Oh, that's a proper unique weapon. Yeah. Strong, so. It heals a lot. Yeah, that heals a lot. Yeah. This weapon is a very, very, very rare drop you get from breaking trees. Pretty rare. Nobody knows how to get it. Oh, yeah, everyone knows how to get it now. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Oh, okay. That's a little being beautiful for PvP. That actually stuns. Hey, you want me to leave the party real quick? Yeah. That shit is amazing. It makes him like Neil. I'm gonna use both. Yeah, that like, this, this is actually stun in this game. So, like, you can actually stun people. And this actually, yeah, I can't move. So like, if I wanted to like, love pistol you, you're gonna be frozen, you can't move. Yeah, Same thing as Mellow Ray. So. too much damage over there. But, yeah, I, I, have a, I have a OP accessory on it. Not gonna do that I just wanna check out the last one, which is a blast. Oh, you can't change weapon in combat, okay. Let's see if y'all cooked it this time. Oh, this one's really good. Oh, but you can spam it. Yeah. We're adding like a, a, little, a, little, a little poison weapon for release. Type B, okay. I don't know if I would yeah, that. that shit gonna be a little crazy. I'm gonna keep running this. Alright, cool. Fruit bag, accessory. Make sure you have your your accessory on. I will Snap, put. Snap, 700 health, that's 7 sword damage. Dang. Yeah, I'll either put the gauntlets or. Oh, you can only do one, one accessory at a time. Yeah, but we're gonna add more. Just cause it's. If you're able to put multiple on brush, it'll be OP. And then I'll show you some like side features later on. Oh damn, you could do it with the dial. Yeah. And I come here real quick. So come to the mysterious sciences and then uh buy the uh buy the microchip. Are you recording right now? Or are yep. you just trying to get a full? No, what recording. the hell? Hell yeah. Yo, you should let me know, nigga. I'm gonna do it like, uh. It's know, not gonna just be raw gameplay. I'm gonna, like, actually edit it. Alright, so basically, this is Kuma. Basically, like, the first raid boss. And then. He's very strong. You for sure gonna need, like, you know, team. Oh, damn. Punches out the thing. This nigga's a little bit OP, so I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I'm gonna guard you. He's not meant to be solo, like. Oh, you actually gotta do it as a team. Yeah. Is my chain not? But... Yeah. There's a shot. Now that shit is crazy. You can imagine how toxic this is, bruh. <laughs> Did you pick a fruit? What fruit did you pick? I didn't even... I forgot to pick a fruit. Let's just kill this guy real quick. And once he reaches 50% HP, uh... Acid starts like spewing out and stuff. This guy basically has no stun. So. And once you kill him, you have a chance of getting his drops, so... You can probably tell, it's probably like, the boss UI is kind of like awesome, like, Project Slayer shit. Mm -hmm. It depends, it's, it's bounty. So it's like every minute it has a chance to spawn. And obviously since I have 100 mil bounty, it should spawn pretty fast. Okay, so it's like... Also, 
There's a cinematic mode for test a zombie. Shift P. If you want to get like a, a cinematic like, you know, clip. Yeah, from like for like the CB because the CBs once it's enraged. Uh, like once the sea beast is enraged, it's actually pretty nice. I'm gonna tell you once it goes cinematic, but I'm gonna get a low real quick. Yeah, you can fight it as well. Sea beast is obviously way easier than the Kuma. Watch. This is the yeah, now yeah, you could you should click shift P to like see how it's like enraged as a whole, yeah. And then zoom out. So you see the little lightning thing on the outside? It doesn't do too much damage. Well it just right now, but Basically, it's like a blitz mode where it, like, you know, obviously kills people. So, Alright, just Damn. range the kill. Yeah. So, I'm about to kill it real quick, and you're just gonna see his body, like, pop on the floor. And, yeah. So, if you come right here, you can see my bounty. There's custom monster posters as well. Um, can only now, be a marine to hunt pirates. Yeah, so it'll tell you the location of, you know, the marine mm -hmm. or of the pirate, I mean. Now, if you go to this guy right here, the bounty hunter, uh, the reason why marines have such a, like a variety of OP type, like, aspect in this game in terms of PvP is because this bounty hunter will tell you, like, it'll TP you to their server type shit. And you, you okay. have to go track them down after that. Exactly. And it'll like, yeah. So then once you find them and then you get their little bounty and then you'll be obviously you'll figure out like where they're at which is why it's like being top 100 in this game is of reputation and, and like bounty is like you're gonna need to uphold it because people are hunting you at all times and i'm pretty sure this isn't just like top 100 bounty it's just people with high bounty in general get reputation okay. yeah literally tpz to their server i could I show you a clip in a sec this guy over here Oh, no, not that guy. This guy. He shows you the top 100. But then you can see the bounty buffs. That you see on the left side. Here, I could give you some reputation. Okay. Honor and bounty. So, honor is for the, for the Marines, right? Yeah. I'll just read you real quick, my fault. So, if you look in the reputation tracker, you can see on the left side, you get, like, bounty buffs. It gives you defense and it gives you damage. Oh, and so when you're hunting you... someone, you get bounty buff? Yeah, just in general. So the more bounty you have, the more buffs you get, basically. Oh, snap. Yes. That's actually nice. And then, uh, you know, it just shows the top 100 bounty leaderboard and stuff. People who played so far. Then obviously reputation. That's a couple people in here. My boy Blues. Sir. This is where you just change your, uh, you know, your posters. I'm pretty sure I gave him one. Oh, you can customize oh. your poster with it? No, okay. No, you gotta be dread. You gotta be dread. And then obviously, like, in terms of, like, if you go to Unlockable and you see, like, Sad Lab, obviously you have to Kuma, et cetera, et cetera. You have to buy most of these, stuff like that. Um, You have the all posters. Then you have the premium posters that's only for like this stuff. Nah, that's hard, I don't lie. Let me spawn. In my joint. So there's there's like timed bosses where like randomly a boss will spawn, like for example. See the smoke admiral? And then like does he drop rare stuff? Yeah. So he's he's dropped this is more for like mid mid tier game. You know, around like level like two hundred, somewhere around there. Mm -hmm. Um, he drops the GTA and Smoke Admiral Cape, which is still like his Smoke Admiral Cape is really good. I'm not gonna lie. He's, as you can see, this is why you do a lot of damage to him. He's not really meant to be best for him, since you're like max level and stuff. Um, you can beat him pretty fast. The thing is about Electro as well. Electro is really good, bro. Oh, uh, you need to be get hockey. Yeah, yes, bro. You got yeah, pop hockey. Oh. The G, yeah. Very cool. Yeah, yeah, cause he's more of like, you know, lower rank type, uh... But then, yeah. Um... Yeah, it's more so like, you wanna like, explore like, the different items and stuff. Mm-hmm. The fruits, still a lot more that you didn't check out. 
there's the uh, captain rapier. You see how this small details. Now look at the animation, right? So there's an animation where you throw the, like the, you see that? You throw the sword in the air and then you catch it and then you get money. W animator for it. Oh, yeah, I peep that. The frozen catches it real quick. Yeah. Now this move is, uh, is it, what's it called? Uh, NPC. You get this from the, uh, rapier user, the captain from the, uh, Skypea. That's Oh, and there's a uh, blacksmith in the game for you to upgrade your weapons as well. Oh, you could upgrade weapons? Yeah, like you see, there's like a plus one upgrade and stuff like that. That's yeah. why there's like materials and stuff in the game. You need materials to upgrade your weapons and stuff. Just a little other aspect to increase your plates on and to make your build, to maximize your build potential. Uh, let me go ahead and equip. Uh, I'm gonna equip Shit Sweep. Uh, this, this weapon right here is actually pretty good. Uh, but be careful, like, he, he's gonna use his Golden Sweep. Yeah, you see that Golden Sweep right there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the Golden Sweep that I was talking about before. And he has right go. Yeah, I like him. Good killer. Well, you died? No, I'm dead. That is bad. <laughs> Alright, what's up? Let me know when you... I'm back in. Oh, there you go. So, yeah, that's the golden sweep that we... And it changes color when you pop hockey as well. You were thinking about adding it to, the, you know, the original weapon, but... So these are all boss raid bosses. You need a group for these guys. Yeah, of course, of course. Because the Tomoe jumps are really good, bro. And all of them have, like, you know, no stun, since it'll be too cheesy if you just infinite stun them, of course. Then I, I got some angel feathers. I'm not sure what you got. I don't think I got nothing. Oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> but yeah, this is Sandora. It's around like lo level what? What is it doing? Can't see this symbol. Can't see the symbol on it, since I guess I'm on the island. But I'm pretty sure this is around like a level like 150, 100. Uh, you can look over here and see one of the mobs. I'm over here okay. This is the uh, the uh, sand dragon. It's a mini boss. Oh, I saw a sneak for this on Twitter. I forgot who posted it though. Yeah, it's a little modeler. It's got a model and stuff like that. It goes under the ground, comes out. Yeah. And then he like bites you and stuff. But yeah, it's a little mini boss. Um, there's uh tornadoes that spawn around Sandora. <laughs> And if you get hit by it, you get the doofus title. Get hit by it. So, yeah, if you get hit by the tornado, you, like, you get the doofus title. Because it's a tornado that just goes around and just spawns randomly on Sandora. I can't really spawn one in, it just happens. A little like, you know. Yeah. Like, like right here, come right here, come right here, come right here. Just one in, just one in. So you see this thing right here? You jump in it. Yeah, if you jump in it, basically, you get the doofus title and it does like damage to you and stuff. You already have all the titles, so probably not gonna pop up, but you get the you yeah. get the gist. Yeah. So you got crocodile in here. His little palace. So yeah, we got a we got a little bit of uh, you know content like that. So yeah. and if you go inside, it's gonna be croc. His golden hook is actually really good. It poisons on hit. Yeah, I seen that poison damage. Yeah. Take it's like ticks. The reason why it's so OP with Lunarian is because the reason why every single time you M1. Okay, come here. Are you in the party? Yeah. Oh, wait, I'm out. Alright, hit me. You see how you apply burn damage per hit? Yeah. Like an extra? Yeah. You're a Lunarian, so it's like one of your passives. So with that, that plus the golden hook is actually kind of crazy. Oh, so it stacks. Yeah, exactly. 